Puerto Ricans that I'm talking to right now, don't get me wrong. We're not even going to say that you were not there. Okay. What we're going to say is that you had nothing to do with the creation. We're right. talking about the creation. The creation of something means that we put it together. Right. Now, if you add it on something, you're not the creator. Right. You just add it on right. to something. Right. Okay. And so that's what Puerto Ricans did. They added on to what was already created. Exactly. And so I have nothing against Puerto Ricans. I had a lot of, I got friends of them, and I hate to sound like the pink people, but I've been at childhood <laughs> friends right. that are Spanish. Right. You know, I, I know some we Spanish. Went, yeah, right. we went to grade school. I right, went to grade right. school with them. Everybody right. loved right. The, 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 the dinners and stuff that you get, you know, that I got from. So it's not that we have anything against you because we totally don't, but we just would like y'all to stop saying that you created something right. and and you didn't. Right. And now a word from our sponsor. Wherever we went, we took control. Mm. We didn't mean to do it. Right. But anytime girls say, oh yeah, there's space here. First division. Boom. Till the early days of 75 and the black space. Okay. So I'm here with DJ D Phase. J Phase. Alright, so where we at, Phase? What's going on, man? There's a lot, man. Okay. I am so proud. To be one of the one people that people have to add me in their videos, okay. in their chats, okay. so that they could get responses on their videos. Mm. Um, I wasn't going to do this video. I wasn't going to acknowledge these people yeah, or yeah, anything, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, because I don't, I don't need them. Right. To do my videos. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. I don't need them to spread my name or to say whatever. I don't need that. Right. Okay, I'm official, official tissue. Right. Um, I'm gonna get ahead straight say it on this video. Okay. Puerto Ricans okay. had absolutely <laughs> nothing. Right. Absolutely nothing to do with the creation of hip hop. Okay. That's number one. Okay. These are some of the things that I'm gonna hit on, some of the topics that I'm gonna hit on in this video. Okay. Number two. When they say that hip hop was started by teenagers and older people, they're wrong. Okay. A hundred percent wrong. Okay. So when they say that y'all were too young, they're absolutely wrong. Okay. And that's why we're in this trouble or whatever you want to call it now. Okay. Because they will never admit that this multi-billion dollar industry was started by shorties, by, mm. little, by kids, mm. not even teenagers. Preteens. So, right, preteens. Okay. So now, imagine that. Imagine that if you got a big, if you you a big time rapper or you a big time DJ or whatever, imagine saying to think about that the only way you could have your business right now, the only way you could get your money to feed your family was started from some kids. Mm. So that's hard to phantom. That's hard to fathom. Number three, how did these kids have money? How did these kids do these things? I said this on many of videos. All right, let's take path one. Which these, everything that I'm talking is a known fact. And the hip-hop cologne was Royal Bane D. Champagne. It was Cats and Bronze Day who was getting money. They was going to Path Ball, stealing, dipping, and jostling that green eye genie and the rest of them. This is something we could go and, 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 and see and ask. We got receipts, we know, it's the known facts. 
So eight, nine, ten year old kids packing and taking people's groceries from Pathmark to their car and packing their groceries would yield maybe twenty, thirty dollars a day. It's according how long you would stay there. Okay. So now five days a week brings you a salary more than your parents were getting. Mm. Okay? And these are kids. So when you say, oh, they was too young, was they too young to get that money? Was they too young to get $30 a day when parents were not even getting $30 a day? But if they were too young, how could that be? Okay. So that's, that's three. Number four is when hip hop started, the beginning of hip hop, mm -hmm. people say, and they come up with these things, those people that weren't there, right. and they say <clears throat> that Mario wasn't playing just the breaks. He was, he was playing the whole record. He wasn't just doing the breaks, which I say this, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. So that we'll know that hip hop must have started with the way he was doing it. Because think about it. The break, it, this is the break. This is why it's called breaking. When you start the record, take a record like um, Shaft in Africa or, or Just Begun. I that's a part of breaking. Okay. All right, that's a part of breaking. And I can't wait until I get a little blackjack over here and show y'all on beat. Beat. Okay. That's a part of breaking. Right? Okay. So now, doing that part, when the actual break comes, that's when it goes. And then and that's when you're on the floor. Mm -hmm. So the whole time. Hold on. Hold on. Shout out to Parkchester. Where we Shout at? They be in Parkchester right now. Shout out to Parkchester. Give her and get something to eat. Right. The whole time that the dad was coming in, all right, we looking to catch our victim. Mm, what do you mean? Our victim. What do you mean? What do you mean? And that's what, what the mean? real B-boy will tell you. We the whole time the music is playing. Uh-huh. We looking for our victim. We going to see our victim, which we getting ready to rock uh, when the break comes. Uh, okay. All right? So when that break comes and we do in the back, we'll put our legs in behind here and go down to the floor and do our shit. That's the break. Okay. That's the break. Okay. So when we up top doing that, that's breaking too. So now, if the other person, DJ, I'm not even gonna say his name, was consistently doing the, just the breaks and playing just the breaks, that means you go into the party on the floor. <laughs> so you don't gotta, yeah. you can't chance no girl, you get nothing, you on the floor. Cause that's what the break is. So now watch. How they all have to revise that mm. by saying that Mario wasn't playing, the brakes was letting the record play. Now they gotta revise that and say, because like, okay, so you go to a party and that's all they doing is dancing on the floor? What? You gotta know how to burn with it Deep. and then go break with it. What? You go to a party and the whole break, the, you walk into the party, you don't get a chance to go like this. You don't just go straight to the floor because that's where the break comes. If that wasn't the case, there wouldn't be a breakdown.
There's three elements to the dance. Dancing, burning, because we never got rid of the burning. Dancing, burning, then breaking. Okay. Save the break for last. That's that's your And so you know on the on on the interview he said, I was checking out the people and how they was getting down on this one part of the record. Okay. Right? Right. So that one part of the record is the break. Right. Okay, so if you go into the party and that's all they doing is breaking, come on. You got to know how to burn with it Do you, and then go break with it. So now y'all are going to revise it. Y'all going to say, oh, this, uh, we were saying that. Okay. So now let's go back to the culture of hip hop, the creation of hip hop. I'm going to break it down. Let's go one, fashion, okay. which is clothes, right? I shopped at AJ Lester's. I okay. wore G Money clothes. You know, our style is uh, what New York, what, right. what made New York. Our style was right. made New York. At one time, they had um, nothing but like uptown style. It was like the uptowners, AJ Lester, right. the, 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 the sneakers. We rocked it. All right, we're going to go with clothes. So, I remember hip hop being starting with marshmallows, rips, desert boots, British walkers, playboys, ballys, which people don't even got. All right? And that's just a little bit of the footwear. Name one Puerto Rican. Name one Puerto Rican from their culture mm. that started that. Mm. Name one Puerto Rican from their culture that started that. So that's fashion. Okay. All right? Okay, now that's just one part of that. Let's move up. Let's move up. <laughs> okay. Levi's, Wranglers, Lees. And y'all was breakdancing the bell bottoms. Mm, yeah, bell bottom Lees and all that shit, of <laughs> course. Sure, sure. AJ's, Gabardines, Alligator Skins, Corduroys, to name a few. Name one Puerto Rican, one. Puerto Rican that they culture created that. So then you want to say, oh, well, we don't know that y'all made those, right? It ain't even about making the shoe. It's about sporting the shoe. Right, and how you sport it. How you sport the right. shoe. Right. How you sport the, the pair. So, All right, so wait a minute, hold up. Uh -huh. That's just because remember we stopped at the pairs. Right. Let's go to the shirt. Mock necks, V necks, suede pockets. Walking around with the afros, walking around with sheepskin vests on in the summertime. I pull up in the luxury car and I get out like this with the hat to the side. All right? That's the beginning, the creation. Name one Puerto Rican that created that style of rocking that. What time frame are you talking? I'm talking about 71 because they all go back to say, oh, Break It didn't start in 71. Break It didn't start in the, oh, no. So they're trying to say that, okay, the culture of it. All right, so let's go. We go into the culture. We already did music, nothing that they created. We already did fashion, nothing that they created. Let's go to MC it. All right. So, MC ain't been around from whatever. Mm -hmm. But when, we, when the creation came out, it was snapping. You said something before, like y'all was um, to the beat, like y'all was snapping to the beat or something like that? Well, we just, like the dozen. The dozen. You know, you play the dozen, it's talking about somebody mother and all that, and you right. your skinnies, and you got both eyes, look through the peak hole, stuff like that. Right. You should rap with, with that. So, it started, it started, 
as we started just snapping and started doing raps. It was back then, like you said, with Mario, with Mario, uh, Mr. Biggs. That's when the real battles would start. See, people think just me and Kumo D started the battles. That's not true. Me and Mr. Biggs at times, and we started the battles because then we used to talk about your mother looks so fat, she looked like the polar. You know, we had those kind of battles and stuff like that. It was snapping. We were snapping on the mic. Right. We were playing jokes on the mic, saying right. stuff on the mics. Right. So, do you remember what year that was, though? Yeah. Ain't nothing years different, 71, 72. Ain't nothing years different, 71, 72. Till this day, let me know what the Puerto Rican snap was. Mm. I can tell you our Puerto Rican snaps. Mm. You know our Puerto Rican snaps. <laughs> All right, that's our Puerto Rican snaps. All right, All right. the flood is over, the, the land is, is dry. <laughs> Why you wear your pants so high? Uh, <laughs> There's our snaps, but you know what? The dude, the dude. Some people might say that that's um. Some people might say that that's stereotypical. It is. It is. I don't care. It is. <laughs> it's the truth. So I'm it supposed to lie, truth, right? so truth. it won't be stereotypical. Right. It's the truth. right. It might I'm be supposed the truth. to lie right. to say that it wasn't that. Mm. I'm supposed to lie. Mm. Come on. Come on. Don't be mad at me because that's what it is. Mm. Okay, we already went to the to the MC because there's no nothing. That in any of my points that they're going to be able to say. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to the graffiti. The graffiti. Right. Is us. Graffiti, the rap. Right. You know what I said? came from us. All right. Graffiti, we had stick letters, we had bubble letters, and we had crown letters. All right? Name one Puerto Rican that did created those type of letters and, and, and put that towards hip hop. Name their culture that created that style, any of those styles, and put it to the creation of hip hop. Mm. Name that. Name that. The other, the, the, the person that the, the said, oh, Stanley says 77, and you did. So the argument was about, started with 50-50 with the creation of hip hop. Right. So now, oh, the timeline is this, or you don't answer that, or whatever. I look at those comments, and I just start laughing like, yo, man, you're really reaching because you really are using FaZe and Microwave TV to have a conversation about hip hop. Right. So now they got to add you in the conversation <laughs> with hip hop because right. you come into FaZe and saying to what Microwave, which the discrepancies is to yet. You have not came up with one clarified point. Right. He still haven't de dealt still. with what was presented to him. Exactly. You know still what doing, you still haven't dealt you with haven't what, dealt was, what was, was dealing with. All right. <clears throat> so now, we hit those elements of hip-hop, which we already came to the conclusion that Puerto Ricans did not create none of that. Absolutely none of it. So, where is the 50-50 part of the creation? Right. Tell me. You mean because even if you were standing right here, if you had nothing to do with the creation, that's all you were doing, was standing there. Mm, that's a good point. So that's saying, all you were doing. You're saying there might have been one or two Puerto Ricans there. Standing there. But they didn't create that style. What did they do? <laughs> they sit there. They know all these styling just from us. Right. They right. didn't say, yo, okay. Rocky's British walkers. Right. Yo, right. Right. here's the mic right. Yo, this is point. the move. Right. Yo. Right. Yo, right. cut this music like this. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to get on my, my points. All right? Okay. Number one. 
the guys that talk about, oh, it started with the brakes, it started with the brakes, it started with the brakes. I challenge anybody on Michael Wayne TV right now, DJ Face says, I ch challenge anybody to produce more breaks than me mm. right now. That's mm. an open challenge. Mm. That's an open challenge. You say, oh, this or whatever. Number one, because this was one of the comments too, was I just cracked up laughing. They say, you ain't do nothing. So, how many times I rocked the Apollo? Oh, they can't say that. Can you say that on your side? He said, who did you battle? <laughs> Have you ever been to the T-Connection? Mm. Have you ever been to Stardust? Rooftop? 371 Club? Have you ever did that? Have you ever rocked Rosedale Park anytime? At any time? Ever, but yet and still you're gonna say, oh, say this, and you say, oh, ah, this, and none of that, that. So, you mean to tell me, because I'm DJing, and you standing there watching, like that means you were down with my me DJing. Mm. I mean, you standing there watching me cut mm. the shit, but you down, you down with my cuts, you down with my. <clears throat> You down with my picking up the needles. You down with my picking up the needles. So back to what I was saying. Y'all talk about, oh, it started with doing the, 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 the records, the merry-go-round or whatever, doing the records. How was it done before the mixer? Hmm. How was it done before the mixers? I got my OGs to tell you, yo, Booby is 100% straight right because there was no mixer in the beginning of hip hop. Why didn't you know mixers? There wasn't no mixer. We're going to have something like this. Yeah. Okay. And you would switch it from the phono to auxiliary. Okay. To the transfer over to the other turntable. And so that's the, that's the whole thing. They not, they, y'all are not getting the concept of hip hop culture you're stating you're saying things that because you see uh, 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 what they have taken it to and say that this is it I'm gonna keep it real we stop break dancing right when Puerto Ricans came in right and messed it up I am the first break Break dancer of the world. My name is Trixie. Okay. King Trixie. 73, 74, 75, because that's when I stopped dancing. You stopped dancing in 75? 75. I was, was, I would say 75 to 78. Yep. 75, 74, 74 even. Yeah, 74. 74 to 78. 78. What year you stopped, MC? I stopped, what, what, 73, 4, 5, 6. Between 77 and 78, I stopped. You stopped. I stopped. It's A1 B-Boy Sasa, the first original B-Boy, the first person on B-Boy by Cool Hurt and Cobra Rock. I stopped competing and stuff in 77. I really stopped really between 76 and 77. In 1977, in 1977, Africa Bambada called me for an, an interview by the Webster Project going up these stairs by Webster. And I go up to him and I say, excuse me. Your name is Africa Bambada? And he's sitting on his thing and he goes, yeah, what's up? I said, you called me here for an interview. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who are you? I said, my name is Batch. They picked it up later. They kept it going, the Latino kids kept it going, whatever. And so, you know, it, when, when they came out, I was, I was in my, my 20s. We stopped break dancing right. when Puerto Ricans came in right. and messed it up. Right. Babe, that's another thing. Look, that's another thing. Listen. And I'm doing this. Listen, 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 listen. You listen, can listen. get mad at me. Right, right. You can say whatever you want. Uh -huh. But acrobats over Beethoven is not B boy. Right. Babe, you know what it is? Now listen to this. Listen, listen. You know what it is? I just think these these dudes, there's only one or two. It's not Puerto Ricans as a whole that say that. It's not, it's just one or two, you know what I'm saying? But listen, what I think it is that it's just that um they want the world to know 
how they transform breakdance. How they transform breakdance. Um, the Nigga Twins were the first B boys. What do you? How do you feel about this? That concept. That concept. That's the biggest bold face lie <laughs> in history. What is your reasoning behind that? Because there's nothing that they have done or they were a part of. Yeah. And not even the dance style has any influence to the way it's being done today. They don't lay no foundation yeah. uh-huh. in my generation that allows the evolution to the way the dance is being done today. They don't play no part of it. They don't lay no foundation yeah. uh-huh. in my generation that allows the evolution to the way the dance is being done today. They don't play no part of it. Mm. Break dance that, that when we think of break dance now, the average person, the moves that we think of when we think of break dance, I think they want to let it known that they did that. That's their moves. I think that's their whole thing. They want just credit for what they did. Can the I stop problem is, what, can I stop it for ahead, one second? Go ahead. Thank you. Right. Because y'all should change the name. Right. No, but see, there's another thing. Why? It's like they hold on to one dance, break dance. We change dances every year. Every year. They holding on to break dance. And I'm thinking maybe that's part of Puerto Rican culture, like salsa. Maybe they do the same dances for decades. People in 1980 saying, see them in a, in a train station breaking. I'm like, y'all still doing that? Then I see them in 85. Y'all still doing that? I see them in 90. Y'all still doing that? 2000. Y'all still doing that? So maybe they do the same dances for decades. Maybe but they do the same thing. Right. They do the you same dance for decades. See, you never we say us. This. We you never see us say yo. We created salsa. Right. We created merengue. Right. We created this. But I can't go and just use your culture, right? No. No, no. I can't use your culture like that. Why is it that when we create things, huh? We got people. What in the say take and say that they did it? Why? We don't do that to nobody. Right, we don't do that to y'all. To- this is what happened to our ancient civilization. We freely gave it to everybody. Said, yo, come on and be part of this, man. This is about humanity. Come on and be part. So everybody comes and be parts of our thing. Then they take it back to their culture and manipulate it in their culture. Then say they did it. Right. They say, right. You know, we did this, you know, generations later, generations later where everybody forgets. Nobody, we don't do that to nobody. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yo, right. I was so hurt the other day when I watched the interview and this the, the Puerto Rican person was going, this nigga this, this nigga that, this nigga this, this nigga oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you gotta Man. hit the biggest nigga. You gotta hit the toughest guy. <laughs> Faster than the other three niggas. Niggas will fall like, oh my God, <laughs> when you're the toughest nigga. I mean, if he was a real nigga, I'd have told you, yo, that nigga was crazy. That nigga was... <laughs> One day I turned the corner, I had a hundred niggas with me. He was talking about how they, you know, did the... And this is, this is a big person. You go, go look at the interview. You're a stick of this and, oh, I'm a nigga of this and out of this and nigga that, right? But... Imagine if we were to say, we're back. Mm. Imagine if we say, yo, we're back, or you so we're back, how you, whatever. Right. They would totally dis- dis- disagree and hate him and, and, and be mad. Mm. Could you imagine me with the name Krishna saying something out of my mouth that was contrary to Krishna, okay? <laughs> the whole Hindu community would be on my back right now. How you taking our culture, naming yourself our culture, and then you're gonna be up here acting like our culture ain't acting? I would, be, they would come after me and probably violently. But yet and still they take a nigga, which is something bad experience that our families right. went through for years. Right. And adapting and saying, you know, so that's a, one of the reasons why I say, yo, man, enough is enough, man. Yeah. We don't want your culture. Yeah. We don't want your culture. Right. We don't want. We don't want to say we did salsa. We don't even want to say reggae. We ain't. Uh, we ain't picking up. Let's have, have, have that. <laughs> have right. that. We create things every new year. Every every, every year. Our children created. create new things.
and new dance. Yo. But they holding on to break dance decade after decade. Because, like I said, right. because we gave it to them. Right, right. And they transformed and, and, it. And, and they transformed it. Right, to right. Listen to this and think about it. If you're doing a flip, right, or you're doing this spinning on your head or whatever, right, what does that have to do with the break? Hmm. Name one thing right. that that has to do with you're the break. You're saying they off beat. They off beat. Not only dancing. are they off beat. What are they doing it to? Right. What are you doing it? You could go, and you rock the bat and you right. doing flips. That's right. breaking. That's right. b boying. Right. That's hip hop. They used to laugh and call me names, and at times they even call me crazy. Watch out! Watch out! That's right. breaking, that's right. b-boying, right. that's hip-hop? Absolutely not. So show me any of this Puerto Rican breakdancing where they doing it to the beat. And it's choreographed to the beat. Face, you know what, look, I'm telling oh you, listen, God. listen, listen, yo, Face. Anything else like you, cause look, I figured this out. I know what it is. Part of the big part of this problem started with Boogie Down Productions in the South Bronx. Bronx. South Bronx. I was rhyming from my block, my street, uh, 139th Street and Millbrook uh, Avenue. There's a place called Millbrook Projects. And there, there were Jamaicans, Haitians, Cubans. I mean, the whole Latino community was there. I was just born in the South Bronx where hip hop was created. And so I put out the record South Bronx. Right. And, and today, it's, it, to be scholarly correct, hip hop started in the West Bronx. It never started in the South Bronx. See, that's it never started in the South Bronx. See, that's in August 1973, a young Jamaican-born New Yorker known as DJ Coolhart threw a party in the South Bronx. It never started in the South Bronx. See, that's it never started in the South Bronx. See, that's but the problem is hip-hop did not start in the South Bronx. Not only did it not, did it, that not but happen, they, but, but so what? You were there. If you okay. was there, you saying even if they was there, if they was right, like I just told you, you could be standing right here. Mm. You have nothing to do with how I made that cut. Mm. You don't have nothing to do with what I said. Mm. You have nothing to do with how I stay fly. Mm, okay. Have nothing to do with that. But that, but phase. This is the problem because they saying, um, blacks and Puerto Rico started hip hop because they're associating it with the demographic of the South Bronx. Right, the South and that, Bronx and, and, is full of black that. and Puerto Rican. You, and, so, and, right. and that's the whole, so, they won't let that go. That's a better than mine. Okay, so you just made it. You just made a, you made a, a serious point. All right? So we went, right? right? We went through fashion, right? right. We went through MCing, right? Mm -hmm. We went through graffiti, right? right. Okay, where, where is their creation of that? The, the, the truth is they took it to another level, right? They but joined took it. Took what to level? The they, something that we created right, we to created. another level. So how can they say, if they took it from another level, how can they say that they created it? Right, right. That's the whole problem. This is the same thing as Brooklyn and Queens disco DJs. You get all these cats who come with these, these stories. They're talking about the late 70s. That's when Brooklyn and all of them started embracing it, when Rappers Delight came out. Right, that's when right, they right, started. Right, right. Sugar Hill Gang. Sugar Hill, you see, that's right. when they started. Right. And that's what they look at the beginning. That ain't the beginning. That's the beginning of recording. Right, commercial. Commercial. Right, recording. Right, right. That's when it started spreading. And everywhere. that's when it starts spreading. Right. This is the same thing as Brooklyn and Queens disco DJs. Yeah. They got into hip hop later with uh, Grandmaster Flowers. Thank you. Bring, bring they got that into up. hip hop later and they made, made contributions later on. Okay, so they thank keep, you for right. bringing that up, which brought me back to my other point. Right. A lot of people talk about that they were there, but were you behind that rope? Mm. Were you on the, what side of the rope you were on mm. to say you created it? Okay, right. what side of the rope were you on? Okay, and so, you know, like I said, 
This is the only video that I'm doing for that other channel that are using my name mm. and, and our videos to be in the hip hop conversation. Because right now, we're gonna look on the comments and we're gonna see what was the creation for um, music? What was the creation for MCing? What was the creation for fashion? What was the creation for graffiti? What was the creation for us fellowshipping like that? Mm. Okay? So when that happens, which I know it's not gonna happen, because now on their channel, I listed some things. And all they're talking about is, oh, he didn't say nothing about his age. Oh, he didn't say nothing about uh, 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 about uh, uh, a green eye saying 77. Oh, and then it was so funny. It is so funny. Uh -huh. On his channel, the guy, the comment says, there are numerous amount of videos where Crazy Leg says 77. And he lists the, 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 the amount of videos. Mm. You know what the reply was? <laughs> How you do crickets? Crickets. <laughs> I, we still waiting for that reply. Right. But well, that was the big issue. Yeah, he's trying, to, he, he's trying to point that out about 76 to 77, which you said. Right. But Rock said he officially supposed to have started in 77. I mean, that's that's like real insignificant and small. But, but look, listen, but that's one, the one thing I want to say to that guy, right? Because I've seen him do it, right? Um, is an article that he uh, refers to with Charlie Rock talking. Charlie Rock said that's a mix up of his words. You know, whatever um, article you're using to say that top rocking or whatever the Latinos were doing in the 60s led to b-boying, and I've seen you refer to that. That's a false article. Tally Rock did not say oh, that. They God. mixed his words around to make it look like that. Exactly. Which is But weird. listen, 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 listen. And I'm going to tell him this. I'm going to tell him this. I'm going to say this to him. Please. Please don't. I'm asking you. Don't call me a liar. Well, I don't do that to you. Don't say I'm a liar. Mm. Because that's where you cross the line. Right. Don't do that. You can have your opinion. Right. You can do whatever. But don't call me a liar because you're calling me out of my name. Right. So I let it skip once. Let it skip twice. Don't do it no more. Simple. Right. They just want to co say, yo, we were there 50 50 and creating hip hop. We were there creating, which is, is, which that's a lie. Because they're thinking about the South Bronx. It doesn't matter. And that, that's why they keep on saying it wasn't started in 71. Right. That's why. Right. Because they were nowhere near. Right. He's actually trying to bring the, the date back to the 75. Yeah. 75, so, which is Because look, you're trying to, this is so typical, like what, what Caucasians did to us in history. They try to hold us back. So right. we say 71, Hertz says 73. Right. Here comes a Spanish guy that says, no, the start 75. is 75. Uh, <laughs> Let's hold him back. Let's, hold Let's him bring him back. way back to 75. Right. No, nigga, now, now we say 71 and 73. All right, let me ask you this. Let's say we gave it to y'all. You know what y'all would do? Whatever we created after that, y'all say, wait a minute, we created that too. Right. This is the classic, give somebody an inch, they take they a mile. They take a mile. The, the, the classic. Give you them say, a rope, they want to be say, a you say, you, say, you say one or two Jamaicans was down, right. they'll say dance hall created hip hop. Uh. But hip hop mm -hmm. came from dance hall. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? No. You say one or two Puerto Ricans was down? Oh, oh Puerto Rican culture. Man. We 50-50 with Puerto Rico. Take it, give them an inch, they take them out. It's a classic example. Because you have nothing just but He already said it. Anything that we do, you got to come, copy it, and then say that it was yours.
then they take it back to their culture and manipulate it in their culture, then say they did it. Right. They say, right. You know, we did this, you know, generations later, generations later where everybody forgets. This is why I phase, I want to point out, like far as taking an inch and taking a mile, giving an inch and taking a mile, why I want to point out one or two brown skinned Puerto Ricans was down with us and the ones that could grow woolly afros, right? And the reason why that's important to point out is because I figure, hey, let the brown, let the brown skinned Puerto Ricans get credit in history. Of let it be known that the brown skinned Puerto Ricans accomplished hip hop. Like, how many of those B boys between 73 and 75 was Spanish, Puerto Rican, or do you remember? Well, in our circle, hey, 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 um, Scout Sada, man, Scout Sada. In our circle, there was one. One. Johnny, I'm uh, um, Johnny Cool. So, so I need a, your experiences as a, as a B boy. You remember one Puerto Rican and one Jamaican. Yeah, straight up, wow. straight up. And you're talking to somebody who was who was deep into the scene. Of right. It. Yeah. Some people don't even remember Johnny Cool. And when they say Spanish, because he looked at black. So there's some people that probably didn't even know he was Spanish. So the other complexion of Puerto Ricans just don't steal the credit. You know, the brown skin Puerto Ricans, they want that equality. They want those, you know, the, the power positions in Puerto Rico. Seguimos viendo como nosotras, las negras y los negros, no estamos representados en espacios de poder. Cuando uno va a solicitar trabajo, una de las cosas que terminan es el pelo. Te dicen que te tienes que peinar, pero ahora mismo yo estoy peinada. I've also experienced direct racism, been called racial slurs. I've been told, why do I live in a certain neighborhood? Let's so it's up, important let's, that we point them out. Let's, let's, let's say that because now, remember, they're bringing up Tex. They're bringing up Tex. Right. And they said, oh, when Tex was playing, whatever. Name one Spanish record that te I'll go call Tex right now. Mm. Name one Spanish record that Tex ever played. Mm. I just think they want they want their attention or credit for um adding to breakdance, transforming breakdance. You know, they took transforming break dance it from what from what it was. Okay, right. so there you so, go. So they're, that's so they're not that's the original exactly. B boys. They're not right. the original B boys. Right. They came in the second or third wave, and they may have transformed it. Okay. That's where we did it all. That okay. 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 Now. We put it to you straight up. There wasn't no Puerto Ricans. Wasn't no Puerto Ricans. Coming wow. to the parties. Okay. So wasn't no, no Puerto Rican breakdances. There wasn't no Puerto Rican. But you say you started it. I started. And I'm not Puerto Rican. You're not Puerto Rican. I'm not Puerto Rican. Wow. I am black and proud. Okay. Okay, my mama's from South, South uh, North Carolina. And my daddy's from South Carolina. Okay, salute. We black. Salute. We Indian. We, we got the African, the jeans and right. all that. And anyway, most of the dancers anyway come from my city. Okay. And tap dancers, black, you know, ballet, black. Everything that that they blind us with actually come from us. Right. We actually have did a lot of things that our people really never got the recognition for. Right. You understand? Right. Like they stole a lot of stuff from us. Our voices, our songs, a lot of things, and it's just coming out now. Mm. So y'all want to know the truth? No, Spanish Brothers was not break dancing in the 70s. Mm. 71, 72, 73, and 70. Matter of fact, they barely came to some of our parties. Mm. And if they did, they was coming after the girl. Hey, you know what? But look, right? Now, I asked you this a long time ago. I don't know if you remember. Let me ask you. If we say in Mario and the Spades and Bronx just started hip hop, are we responsible for the state of hip hop? Like Hell no! Because not? we gave the breakdance to them. They gave it to right. them. We no, gave it I'm to saying, them. okay, but what about those who call Ku Herc a father? If you're a father of hip hop, aren't you responsible? If that was the case, if you're the father of hip hop. If Mario was alive today, mm -hmm. he'd still be doing that. Right. He'll still be DJing. He'll, He'll still, still be, be DJing. Music. Right. He'll still be doing like who cool DJ D. Right. The, right. Tyrone. Right. Right. Okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Tyrone. Okay. It's me. Right. You still doing it? I'm, I'm rocking a party tonight. 
So, so what you saying? Like her should be. So, still- so where is that? Where has that happened? Right. Where is his progression of the cuts and the mix? He's a DJ. So from then to now, you should have mastered the skill of DJ. Mm. You should have mastered the cuts. I got to give it a red alert. Mm. Red alert back in the days. You know, you know, I love you. You know, I love you. I love you, uncle. He couldn't do that. He mm. couldn't cut. But he's in there and he's been in the art so long that red alert could cut now. Red Alert, you hear him doing some so, stuff now. So you saying the creators of hip hop don't have a responsibility to guide hip hop, or no, you know why? And I hate to admit it, you know why we don't have the responsibility anymore is because, just like how I feel with 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 with, with, with you know Bronxdale and and other things. Right. Let me ask you: Do you understand that other channel? What they represent? In hip hop generations, they would be like your grandchildren. They would be like your great grandchildren. You as a spade, because the black spades had baby spades, right? The baby spades of Bronx River became Zulu kings. The Zulu kings had baby Zulus. The baby Zulus taught the Latino rockers. Now these guys are the youngsters that was around the Latino rockers. So it's hip hop generations. So okay. they like your great but grandchildren. You, you want me to admit? <laughs> you want me to admit that it's our responsibility, but to me, it's just like it's just like how can I say it? There's a difference between someone that wants to learn, right, to the person that right. thinks they know it all, right? They're going on hearsay and rumors, right? right. And so the person that wants to learn will say, and even if they do this.